Shalom, shalom, family. Actually, it's Shabbat Shalom. Uh, today is Sabbath. Uh, me and Amadi are uh, sitting on our porch, the infamous porch <laughs> that we've been coming to you maybe a couple of times since we've been here at the resort at La Simone. Today is the day of rest, so we're definitely going to do that. Uh, we are going to paint later on, um, uh, paint a portrait together. So that's about the gist uh, besides relaxing as we've been doing most of the week and eating. <laughs> uh, that's just about the gist of what we will be doing today. I'll be packing and uh, our driver will pick picking us up tomorrow um, at checkout, which is at 11. And we will be on to Dakar to show you um, a little more of Senegal. So uh, we've had uh, breakfast already. It was a light breakfast. I wasn't feeling well last night. Um, another case of, of a, something that I've eaten, whether it was the water or food or whatever. Um, I made this super tonic um, before I came and anytime I use that tonic uh, it keeps my belly aches at bay so I guess the key to my next visit here is taking that uh, taking some of that every single uh, meal after every single meal I got it from my brother who is the female version of granny <laughs> all of the concoctions the natural co concoctions that will heal you uh, they certainly seem to work so it's one of those don't leave the country without <laughs> it, it's funny because my husband was like oh you need to leave that stuff it's nasty uh, yeah it's nasty but i tell you every single time i've taken it it's uh alleviated whatever was going on uh in my belly you know so I did want to take this time this morning I've been uh, pretty much the the one that's the most vocal so far on this trip and on the uh, the, the YouTubing and I uh, at breakfast this morning I told Amadi said I want to interview you uh, and as you all know we did want to show you the beauty of Africa but we don't want to uh, be so uh, so pro Africa that we don't talk about any of the challenges or you know things that we've faced or whatever so uh, I told Amadi I think it's a good thing that we probably would um, just do uh, an interview so I have some questions I'm going to ask him and uh, and you're going to get the, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help our most high God. <laughs> so without further ado, here's Amadi. Okay. So Amadi, have you been enjoying yourself? Kind of tell, tell, tell us your feelings, your thoughts. Um, uh, my feelings uh, right now is a little melancholy because we're getting ready to leave tomorrow and I've really enjoyed myself this week. Uh, looking forward to moving on to the car, but at the same time, a little sad to leave behind La Simone here at the, uh, at the resort. It's, it's been a good time. Yeah. And you guys, I have to parlay off of that. Um, I just, uh, our house lady, Rama, I mean, she has just been so sweet, and uh, I think we'll see her tomorrow. I think she understood what we were saying, but uh, I was brought to tears knowing that it's going to be a long see you later, and um, 
you know, although we miss our family and we can't communicate real well with the people here, we have made some bonds with some really wonderful people and we're going to try to include pictures of all the ones that, you know, um, have, have assisted us. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to parlay off of that um, with Amadi. So Amadi, back to you. Um, if you could name three of the most positive experience um, here at La Simone and also uh, arriving at the airport, uh, three positives or or maybe how about five because <laughs> because I, I think it's a lot of positives I, I just shoot from the hill okay um, uh, right away the cultural differences um, as far as how we move how how our our cousins here move and, and how they they interact with each other um, you know it's it's they're very very friendly um, once you get to know them, a lot of them show themselves friendly immediately. Um, others sit back to wait and see, I guess, how you're going to respond to them. Um, but once uh, the initial communication has been had, you know, they're, they're pretty open. They're um, beautiful spirits, um, you know, w within our people here. Um, very helpful, willing to assist. Um, you know, I have not had any issues out of anyone since we've been here. Um, the food, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's been good. Um, at the same time, there has been differences as to how we prepare. Um, the taste that I expect, the texture that I expect, that are is just not the same from what you know we what we're accustomed to in the states. Um, so that that's another. It's a positive, but at the same time, it's it was just different for me. Um, you know, and with time, you know, you can overcome all, all differences and, you know, um, your palate, uh, it, it, after a while, I guess it will um, it, adjust. Uh, adjust to, um, you know, whatever you eat on, day, on a daily basis. Yeah, so, but it, what about the freshness? Tell them about the freshness and the, the difference in the food here. Oh, man, fresh is, is the operative word that um, everything is, is so fresh. Uh, we don't eat the fish and, and the meats, but at the same time, every day at the meat bar, there's fresh fish, um, grilled, um, fried, whole. Uh, they have some uh, shark fillets, uh, swordfish, and things of that nature, but it's fresh on a daily basis at, at dinner, especially. Um, you know, last night they had a huge swordfish on the buffet. Um, that basically took up, you know, about two tables, and, that, and, and then they had a lot of clams and oysters. Um, but the fruit uh, is the star of, of our meals as well because uh, the cantaloupe, the honeydew. I don't even eat oranges at home, but I've been going through them here like they're going out of style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, um, grapefruit. Oh it's yeah. A little different here. Oh my goodness. They look a little different. They taste a little different. They're absolutely delicious um, so yeah the fruit that i wouldn't bother to eat at home i've been eating here on a daily basis looking forward to eating here on a daily basis yeah yeah, yeah. any more positives you'd like to share oh wow the weather has been nice yes uh the weather has been um uh, calming it's been um it's it's actually i believe helped my body um, the sun, this, this ocean air, uh, breathing in this, this nice fresh air on a daily basis. I, I think it's done nothing but had positive results for me as a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything else positive? That's all I can think of right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm just going to add to, of course, you know, Hava got to put her two cents in. Uh, I wanted to kind of uh, parlay on what he was talking about in regards to the food. I grew up um, with a father who, uh, uh, you know, had a garden every year, a huge garden. And I longed for those flavors um, of fresh 
you know, uh, the taste of spinach, the taste of cucumber and tomato straight out of the garden. And <clears throat> even with the organic food uh, in the States, you, you just can't get it. Here, the spinach tastes like the spinach that I had when I was a little girl. Um, the cucumber tastes like it was just straight out the garden. Um, I mean, it's just absolutely, the food is absolutely alive and it's, it's just delicious. And, and, and some, even the pineapple, I remember another YouTuber saying that the pineapple in the States burn her palate. Same for me. I can hardly eat pi uh, pineapple in the States because it's so acidic, not acidic here, absolutely sweet and just absolutely just amazing amazing so uh, the food is a big thing and you all I must say because a lot of people have fears I had fears but we've been on this beautiful green green resort we've only seen one bug I haven't been chased like with bees like I've been uh, was uh, at Disney World last week I mean the bees chased me so bad because I had natural oils in my hair uh, no, no uh, excessive bugs. Um, uh, all you're really going to see are lizards, and we see those in the in uh, the states where we are. So, uh, a lot of people, oh, you know, I'm scared of the snakes, snakes. You know, you all, we haven't seen one single snake, and we're in this beautiful green greenery, lush area. And the guy told us the only time you're going to see snakes is when you go in the bush and it's excessive rain. So a lot of the things that we have been told and, and you know, um, things to keep us in fear. And, um, you know, I tell you, I, it, it's, it's just, it's just amazing. So I wanted to add that. So back to Amadi. So Amadi, if you could name three things or you can shoot from the hip again or whatever of any negatives that we've experienced since we've been here negatives i have to actually think on that one because i don't recall uh, a lot of negatives mm -hmm. um, what about the airport well the airport uh you know like i said learning how they move uh, the guy at the, uh, the exchange counter, I guess he was like a, uh, a long time DMV employee or just uh, <laughs> happy breathing the air. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was a little short, he was a little rude. Uh -huh. uh, I'm sure it was based, based on the, the language barrier. Um, I, I think that their mindset when they see us coming with the language barrier uh, that uh, they're not 100% sure of how to receive us. Um, so I, I think their defense mechanism is to just, you know, put up a wall and, and be rude. Um, but we were able to exchange our funds. Uh, but uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was a character. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I would say that since we've been here, he probably is the, the most rude that I've come across, uh, period. Even more so than the laundry lady? Uh, the laundry lady wasn't really rude. Uh -huh. uh, she wasn't rude to me. Oh. <laughs> she, she was rude to Chico. Chico oh. is the, uh, the, the, the landscape, the groundskeeper manager. And uh, Chico was going to help me out by taking me to introduce me to the laundry key so we could have our clothes laundered and uh, brought back to us. And I guess he was going to go in and, you know, throw his weight around and advise her of what I was going to be bringing over, and she quickly let Chico know that it was not going down. <laughs> I didn't know what was being said, but I could tell by her gestures that it wasn't going down. So I, just, I just advised Chico that that was okay, we'll figure it out. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, one thing I guess is synonymous between our, our women stateside, the women here and probably other places, is, is that when the neck begins to roll, you know, it's not all positive that's, that's being uh, <laughs> is, is, is being given out. So, um, yeah, the hand went on the hip, the neck began to roll, and, and I knew at that point <laughs> what direction we were going in. So, you know, me and Chico bowed out. 
so black women are pretty much the same all over. <laughs> yes, sure. Anything else? Uh, any other negatives that you can think of? Uh, you know, I, I guess the first two days of jet lag, uh, you know, trying to let your body adjust to the time differences and the, the food and the water and things of that nature. Um, you know, jet lag is real. Uh, the first two days, uh, we were up, we were around, but it wasn't to the third day when we really hit our stride and we had energy, you know, to burn to where we could really get up and do some things. So, um, yeah, the, the jet lag that, you know, I'm not going to say stole a couple of days, but at the same time, we didn't have the energy that we normally would have. Yeah. yeah. And what about the water and, and the, uh, the belly aches that we had initially? The, the water, you know, it tasted fine. Yeah, it, it looks crystal you know, clean. Yeah, it looks clearer than our water yeah, at home. They, they get to you in the picture and mm -hmm. they ask you what you want. And, you know, dog, that, that's water. And so they bring you a pitcher of water and, uh, you know, everybody's drinking the water. The only thing is, the enzymes in our belly and the enzymes in their belly, I guess, are a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, they can process a little better than what, mm -hmm. what we can. Mm -hmm. But, you know, now uh, you don't have the nickname of rock gut, so it only took me a couple of days to, <laughs> to adjust. Uh, now I'm, I'm just, you know, moving on along. Mm -hmm. um, plus, the first couple of days, I, I had cheese mania. You know, mm -hmm. I ate more cheese in the last couple of days than I have eaten in the last probably six months. So those first couple of days, I was a cheese head, and I had to bang all the way off of that. Mm -hmm. but since then, I've been fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I anything else? Negative? Mm-hmm. Nah, that's all I have for now. Yeah. Well, I do have a little bit I would like to add to that, you all, because I, I think that when people are thinking about <clears throat> making a transition, you really need to know everything. Um, one of the negatives to coming to a foreign country and not knowing the language, uh, you know, using cell phone, we bought a cell phone here because it was told that we needed to get one locally. And it was it's true, we did. It took us a long time, a, a lot of effort in learning how to use the the phone it was in french so we had to depend on uh loss which was one of the guys at the bar who uh taught kevin how to um switch it to excuse me english and once we finally did that we started um uh being able to text our uh the lady that's going to give us the guide and just you know doing com uh, communicating uh, within the country uh, they do not like to receive long distance communication. It's, it's just not smart uh, for them. Uh, they would rather you have a local phone. Also, one of the, it's not a big negative, but it is, it is a negative. A lot of people see you as American. They think you have money. So uh, you will have some people who will ask for things. Um, not a lot, but you know, you will have people to ask for things and then you're like with your big heart wanting to help. You know, you're like, uh, we've had, uh, Amadi had someone ask uh, for some pants and a shirt. That would be very, very easy to do, except we only brought so much, <laughs> you know, so we need our clothes. Um, I think I shared in another video, a, a, a one guy, he w asked us to bring him some food from the bar and we couldn't because it's against the rules, but Amadi shared what he had. And that same guy later on came and asked for 50 euros because he said his wife was in the hospital. I don't believe his wife was in the hospital, you know, but it's just, but that can happen to you in the States. In the States, I mean, one thing you won't see here is people on the corner holding up, I, I need food or, I, you know, please give me a tip, uh, a, a disabled veteran you won't see all of that you won't see but you will have people and I'm not downing that please don't get me wrong but I find that I see that more in the state uh, I mean it's like you can't go a whole week without being begged you know uh, in America so 
you know, I guess you shouldn't say that it's a big negative here. It's just one of the things you're going to have to deal with and you're going to have to use wisdom on who to bless and who not to bless. Also, I just want to add, it's not a negative, but uh, God has been le leading us, those, those who have been blessing us and helping us, we've been uh, uh, giving them uh, decent tips, you know, um, and, and every time we do it, they're absolutely, genuinely just ecstatic and happy, very appreciative. Not one has looked at it and thought that maybe it wasn't enough or whatever. Every last one of us have been appreciative and just seem really genuine. Okay, back to Amadi. I, I do have one more thing. Okay. That um, first, I want to say that everyone should make a sacrifice. To, uh, choose a date. Um, put it on your calendar. Get with your job, or if you're self-employed, just put a pin in it and, and and make a concerted effort to make it back over here to the motherland. Don't just talk about it. If you're afraid to do it with just you and, a, and another person, or your significant other, or your wife, you know, get you a group together. Um, Hava, she's a travel agent as well, and she can assist you. But, you know, put a pen on a calendar, choose a date, and make up in your mind that you're going to return back to the land. Uh, that's first thing. Mm -hmm. Second thing is when you get here, if you decide to go shopping, um, you know, most people, you know, if you've ever been to a timeshare, uh, a timeshare presentation, and at the end you get those salesmen that uh, you know are trying to sell you the, uh, that, 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 you, you get those salesmen that's uh, trying to close the deal for you uh, on your condo or whatever the case may be. I can tell you now that's nothing compared to the pressure that you can get here shopping for some of the trinkets <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true uh you know I, i've traveled the world I, i've been to you know i've, I've haggled with the best of them uh, around the world you know i've haggled in the philippines i've haggled in korea i've haggled in uh china you know like, like that I, i've haggled with the best but i've never experienced um the back and forth <laughs> that me and this guy had yesterday as we were shopping uh, for, for some gifts to bring back home. It was literally lines drawn in the sand. And he was writing his number on his side, and I was writing my number on my side. And he wrote something down that I didn't like. I was scuffing out with my foot. <laughs> and it's like, if, I, if he wrote something down, if I wrote something down, he didn't like, he was scuffing out with his foot. It was actually pretty entertaining. Um, but, you know, you have to be leery and know that you know it's, it's unfortunate but if you give an inch you know they're, they're going to take a couple of feet on you so know what you're purchasing know the value of what you're purchasing and try not to get taken advantage of because um you know you could be a blessing at the same time but at the same time don't get taken advantage of you know don't don't come pay 25 dollars or something that you know to actually work five you know and, and, and if you give it they're going to take it so, so just be, be be aware of uh, you know what you're getting and the actual value of things. Yes, and and how much time do they need um, in the motherland? Do you think a, a week is enough? Oh, uh, you you can't come here for um, you know three or four days. You uh -huh. need a couple of weeks at least. I'd say at, at least you know 10, uh -huh. 14 days. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, it, it's not, number one, you don't want to spend that type of money on a plane ticket just for a three or four day trip. Mm -hmm. uh, so you want to get your value, your money's worth. So yes, at least 10 to 14 days. And that's actually enough time to, number one, to, like I said, jet lag is real. Mm -hmm. And so your first day, day and a half, two days, you're going to be dragging tail. So, you know, you don't, you're not going to get around a lot those first, yeah. that first day and a half. So, yeah, you, you're going to need 10 to 14 days in order to get your money's worth, in order to see what you want to see. Uh, do your research, do your homework, do your due diligence, you know, make sure you you uh, hey, find you some YouTube channels, how to help you with that. She has one herself, but there's a lot of people out here that's doing a lot of amazing things here in the motherland that's providing a lot of helpful information. 
um, a lot of things that we were able to, um, you know, get together, uh, packing lists and things of that nature off of people that were actually here on the land that said, hey, you know, don't forget you may need this and don't forget you may need that. So, and it was all very useful, very helpful. And um, I think it assisted us in being able to be here without any issue, major issues. Now, I can tell you that I brought my electric shavers and um, the the adapters that that we uh, that we purchased uh, didn't support my shavers as well. So um, when I went to plug it up, I thought I was about to knock the lights out on the compound. So I've not been able to use my shavers since I've been here. So that's you know if you get something that's battery operated, it's probably better. He still yeah. looks handsome. So, um, but that's something I've learned that you know going forward, I have to get something that's battery operated that I can use. You know, every morning versus something that plugs up into a, you know usual 110 outlet. Yeah, and and we did buy the um, the converters. The converters. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, but the converters won't support. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the safe, the safe. But like I said, uh, lesson learned. Mm -hmm. And next time we come over, which hopefully within the next six months, um, I have me a battery operated shaver. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Amadi. I do have one more question for Amadi before we finish, but I thought about one more negative that I don't think, <laughs> I think he's I just thought about one. <laughs> on the count of three, let's see if we say the same thing. Why don't you come over here? <laughs> so, on the count of three, one, two, three, flies. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, you're thinking flies, I'm thinking entertainment. Okay. So, you, so here okay. on the grounds where we are, on the... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Resort. <laughs> <laughs> that's where, uh, the our, new horizon. Our, our entertainment uh, director, Jock. That's how he was said. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm -hmm. um, the, the entertainment here, we learned later that it was this Colombian owned resort. And so the, the entertainment reflected as such. There wasn't a lot of traditional, or what I would think would be traditional dance. And music uh, taking place here on the, on the resort so in, in, in my mind thinking what we were going to get and then receiving um, a more Hispanic uh, mm -hmm. flared entertainment um, you know it was, it was a little disappointing yeah to, just to say the least yeah um, I, there, there were there was a, no there was a band that played and they were good yeah they were, they were very good yeah, um, that was like on the first or second night, I think. I was second, second night. night. It, um, but after that, it's been all, uh, you know, his Hispanic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and can I add to that? Sure. You guys, I mean, the show was almost, I, I mean, not quite, but almost Vegas worthy. They had some talent, but. Uh, when you research Senegal, you'll understand that they are a very conservative country. Most of them, uh, the 95% is Muslim, uh, five, uh, 4% is Christian, and 1% is indigenous uh, religion. It's, and they cover up. That's why I use, I mean, I wear covers anyway, uh, the majority of the time on my head. Uh, uh, but here... I mean, you, you cover up. You can still look beautiful. These women look absolutely beautiful. But in these shows, these ladies had thongs. Um, you know, their breasts were uh, almost just out, you know. Uh, it was just utterly disrespectful to me. So when you come to this uh, to the land, you need to be respectful of... Um, Amadi, come over here a little bit more. You need to uh, be respectful of the culture and the people, you know, uh, and and that's something that I, I saw. It, and it really vexed my spirit to the point where I just wanted to get up and leave, but I didn't want to see, be considered rude. Now, at the count of three, I said flies. He said entertainment. Let me elaborate on the flies. Guys, the flies are real. When You know, uh, we've been at an outdoor, um, we eat in an outdoor area. So the flies are real. And uh, like places in, in um, America, you may would have like fly catchers or something to help keep it at bay. No, um, there, are, there were cats that came through 
every now and then. There's you a know. natural <laughs> ecosystem at, at work here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I saw birds trying to attack the bread one day. Um, and then uh, there are dogs on the beach. And they're not bad dogs. I mean, none of them are wild. They're, they're more humane than some crazy Americans. But anyway, you know, uh, some of the Europeans feed them so they don't want to go home. You know, so it's just little things like that that aren't, I mean, you shouldn't be really concerned about, but be prepared. Me and Amadi, we have our own uh, germ um, uh, uh, concoction that I make, and uh, we just spray our uh, hands and uh, before dinner and our utensils before dinner, just in case a little fly was on it or whatever. But you know, those are just little negatives, but not enough to keep to to keep us away. I mean, the the positives absolutely outweigh the negatives. Okay, so my final question for Amadi is, Amadi, can you see us living here? And if so, what do you envision? Well. Yes, I definitely can see living here on the land, uh, on the on the in the motherland. Um, I don't know. It's like I feel a comforting spirit of home. Um, I, I know the turmoil that's taking place back in the states, um, and actually watching Al Jazeera television while we've been here um, has been eye-opening. Um, you know, people are acting a fool all over the world. Yeah. To be honest with you, um, and it's almost like no matter what the continent, what the country, they're all playing from the same playbook. Um, you hear of ships not being able to dock because they have uh, refugees on them, sitting out, you know, at sea, um, you know, two months waiting for uh, permission to dock and things of that nature. Uh, other areas of the world that won't allow immigrants to come into their, their land. Uh, specifically black immigrants. Yeah, yeah specifically black Cause immigrants. Because they did let a Spanish, when they found out that some Spanish were out there, they let them in. Yes. So um, it's like no matter where you are, but they all come in from the same playbook, and which is very troubling to me. Uh, it's like there, there's a world agenda. Um, and, and at the, um, I, I guess we are um, the focus of, of that agenda to make sure that we aren't um, recognized for who we are, uh, for what we bring to the table, what our ancestors have brought to the table, what, you know, the, the racism has been perpetuated years, o over 400 years, uh, and they do not want to let go of what they think they have a hold of. Um, so, you know, that's why I can see myself here. It vexes me to know that Africa is the richest continent on the face of the earth, but yet suffers the most. Um, while other countries have millionaires that, that billionaires that's, that's been created because of the natural resources that we have here on the motherland. Um, I know I can't change any of that alone by myself, but you know, if enough of us put our feet on the ground and our hands to the, to the, to the wheel, I think that, you know, we can make small changes and if enough small changes are made, you know, initially, you know, big changes will, will occur. But, you know, we, we have to start somewhere. Uh, we need to have soldiers on the ground, um, you know, so to, so to speak. Uh, but people that are willing to put, not only to talk about it, but to actually put forth effort, you know, to, to make changes. Uh, a lot of people here, I don't think they understand who they are. Uh, I understand. I know they're they're in their culture, and this is all they know. But I don't think they understand the power that they hold, and I think that's part of the problem. Yeah. But yes, I can't see myself living here. Okay. All right, you all. You heard from Amadi. Amadi, I'm just gonna carry a song out. If you think of anything else before um, I shut it down, just let me know. But I just wanted to say. Um, I feel home. I feel family. I feel something here that I've never felt 
in well you know what i say never felt in america but i feel something here that i felt as a little girl uh something that my papa donahue um uh fostered in our family just family and love and closeness and and everyone's there to help and understand and safety um I, I feel I feel something that I hadn't felt in a long time and some people probably haven't felt at all it feels like home I feel relatively safe here I feel more safe here than I do in America I think any type of uneasiness has come from not being able to communicate or know you know what's being said you know those types of things but I see ourselves here I see myself uh, going into the garden getting these fresh vegetables and making my fresh food my body although I've had uh, a couple of bouts of diarrhea and and you know whatever uh, in the food or whatever I feel better my body I feel better I, you know this it agrees with me it's I don't know if it's uh, the uh, relaxation I believe it's the food every day it's been vegetables vegetables fresh vegetables fruit um, I did cheat on this trip everybody knows that I'm I eat a mostly vegan diet and I say mostly vegan because if something has some honey in it and I don't have anything else or if something has a little bit of uh, a butter in it and I don't have anything else, I'll eat it. But I pr pretty much stay away from cheese and, and no eggs and things of that nature. So I have had crepes since I've been here because that's what they have, you know. And uh, and yes, they have some fabulous fig cheese pizza that I've been eating um, uh, almost every night. It, but still, what it would do to me in America, it do, it doesn't do here. It's just it's crazy. But anyway, I see um, me and Amadi here. I see my mom and dad here. I see my siblings here, our children here, our grandchildren here, my my husband's siblings here. I see us here. I believe we can make a life here, and I believe any Black American or any uh, black person who has been dispersed, even the ones who have left thinking that, that there would be a better life abroad, I say come back and, and, and join in with your uh, black brothers and uh, Adolf sis, uh, sisters and brothers who are uh, 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 a product of slavery and bring the money back. Uh, you know, it would be nice if we had some Tyler Perry's, some Oprah Winfrey's to come and set up um, villages that are more modern and and, and just, uh, you know, for uh, and investment purposes for uh, people like us to come and, uh, and build and, and they can make money off of their investment, but help build build our motherland the land that we came from this is our inheritance and until we stop trying to build other people's land and i know we have you know uh, many of many people were native uh many black people were native to the americas but the majority of us were not you know we were uh, uh we were a product of slavery and uh, all land began here all life began here and we have to bring it back here we have to invest and build it here charity begins at home and then it spreads abroad you guys I hope you've enjoyed this interview I think we've covered the majority of uh, everything that was on our hearts and, and uh, that concerned us we will do one more video like this after Dakar because of course, you know, that we've been on the uh, resort the majority of the time, so um, I'm pretty certain it's going to be a little different. But anyway, um, that's all for now. Anything else before I close out, Amadi? Okay. That's the most you've heard from him today, so hey, <laughs> you should feel privileged. He don't talk much. But anyway...
Hello family, Hava here. Uh, coming to you our last night um, in La Simone, Senegal. Um, have a lot of mixed feelings uh, about leaving, uh, but we are so excited about arriving into Dakar tomorrow. Uh, we called and confirmed with the hotel and they seem very enthusiastic and welcoming. Uh, uh, just about everyone who's answered the phone um, speaks English, so that's always a plus. Um, and after our trip, we will give you reviews on the places that we stayed and places that we do suggest. But uh, anyway, I just wanted you, as you can see, I think you could see the, uh, the ocean behind me. Um, guys, I am going to miss this so much. Just um, having dinner, communing with Amadi, uh, and nature, uh, which is uh, it, just communing with God. And, you know, um, that's one thing I really hadn't been able to really do here yet. It's just get on the beach by myself and connect with the most high i don't know i i just didn't get to do that this trip um not quite sure why but that's something i typically do when i go to the ocean the ocean is such a spiritual uh has such spiritual significance to me um uh, it's just it's so much peace and i just feel like god's presence is just all around me when i'm at the at the beach or near the ocean uh, so I, I hate I wasn't able to um, do that on this trip um, But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to come to you, you know um, One on our last evening here and also I'll be coming back to you kind of um, Sharing some of the things that kind of happened today uh, Me and Amadi kind of got a little discouraged some little things happened uh, maybe a, a couple of things happened that was like, oh my goodness, you know, um, power outages, uh, they do occur, but uh, they don't, the lights don't stay off too long. So, I mean, it's an inconvenience. It's something you can get used to, but there's a couple other things that kind of happened today. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> you know, it kind of set me back a little bit. Or both of us, actually, we we're just kind of like, oh, okay, you know. Um, just gave us a little more to think about still it doesn't change the fact that uh, Senegal feels like home uh, will it be home I hope so I really really hope so you know but the most high of course is going to lead us in all our ways and uh, we're 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 following his guide you know um, we came here because we were filling a pool here and I understand why it's absolutely beautiful. The people are beautiful. The culture is beautiful. I just absolutely love it here. Um, is it perfect? Of course not. Uh, America is far from perfect also. So um, I just, I don't know. I just, I just have, I, I, I know I don't want to stay in America. I know that. Um, we know we don't want to stay in America. But uh, I just kind of just wanted to come to you all. And actually, also, I want y'all to see the outfit I made. So real quick, I'm going to see if Amadi will stretch this out for me just a little bit. Do you mind, Amadi, stretching this out so everyone can see my outfit? I made this outfit, you guys. I made this outfit before I came and um, I just I feel native I feel like I belong uh, but anyway Amadi did I leave anything out oh I did forget to tell you guys what we did today um, we did have breakfast uh, and then lunch and then after breakfast we paid for 
a painting session and it's really unique painting it's not the kind of painting that we're used to and it turned out absolutely beautiful we have only two more uh, areas to paint so they told us to show up in the morning at eight o'clock and we could finish painting and then we check out at 11 we will arrive at our uh, new hotel at around 2 p.m and they are expecting us and we are so happy uh oprah oh, we're just excited but anyway you guys um i'm not gonna keep rambling i just wanted to come to you one last time and let you see and hear and oh i'm sorry you can't smell it but this beautiful fresh air oh my goodness i'm gonna miss this i am going to miss this until next time shalom and hava out peace